Alright my friends, how are you all doing out there? It's Eva here again, personal trainer, athlete and scoliosis warrior. So today on the vlog what I thought I would do is give you guys a lowdown on my training schedule. So on the advice of Neve, I decided to hire a running coach because my background is primarily in strength and conditioning so I know very well how to uh, periodize training in that regard but when it comes to running I'm a total noob in this game so I decided to hire um, a lovely uh, amazing coach named Rene Borg and a lot of you Irish trail runners out there are probably very familiar with Rene so Rene is going to do up a plan for me um, again we don't know if the event's going to go ahead in May but I'm more thinking on playing the long game with this one because even if the event doesn't go ahead, it's probably a really good thing in the sense that it gives me time to really build up my running base. So then when events happen later on in the year, um, I'm sufficiently primed for it. Um, so I'm just actually currently waiting um, for Rene to finish my plan off for me. Um, so we'll start that uh, this week when, uh, when it comes. But for now, what I've been doing is three runs in the week i reduced my volume down a little bit because i was just doing too much um so i have one long slow run on the weekend one medium fast run during the week and then another uh, medium fast run during the week as well um as well as that i have one strength and conditioning uh, session that i do in the week so i'll either focus on uh, squats deadlifts and some upper body and core accessory work as well um, as well as that, I am a personal trainer, so my job is very active. Um, even at the moment, uh, with us being in lockdown, I uh, teach a lot of sessions on Zoom and Skype. Uh, so three of my sessions in the week, I teach um, a class called Total Body Conditioning. And, uh, you know, because of Zoom, you actually have to physically perform the class now. So this class is high intensity. It's explosive. We do a lot of plyometric type of work. So um, it really works those uh, fast twitch type two uh, muscle fibers. So we get a lot of leg work and we get a lot of glute work with that. Um, I can't personally tolerate a whole lot of volume in my training. I find uh, if I do too much kilometers, it's... It just knackers me out too much and then I can't do my job. So um, I'm handing it over to Rene to put together a plan that's going to prep me. Um, even, as I said, if the event doesn't happen in May, it will prep me for future events that my engine is primed and ready to go. Um, but for today, what I thought I'd do for you guys is take you through a little mobility session that I like to perform before I do any running work and before I do any strength and conditioning work as well. Because uh, mobility, it's that missing, it's it's a piece of the puzzle that I kind of missed out on for years. Um, I focus a lot on strength, um, I've done a lot of hiking, um, but I never did any type of movement that kind of let my body recover. So uh, mobility for me in recent years has really upped my game. It's given me um, a lot more range of motion within my joints. And it's important for runners to help us activate the particular muscles we're going to be working before we go on our run uh, to avoid injury. So when I'm thinking about mobility, I'm thinking about the muscles that I want to activate. So when we're talking about running, it's gonna our drivers are gonna be our legs, the muscles of our legs. So we wanna activate our glutes, we wanna activate our hamstrings, our quads, our calves, and we wanna stretch out some tight muscle groups as well. And um, so I really like to uh, stretch out my uh, TFL, the uh, side hip muscle, the tensor fascia lata. Um, because that tends to cause me um, a bit of aggro if I go too long. I get some uh, inflammation along the IT band. So I'll take you through my little mobility session, guys. Follow along and I hope you enjoy. So the first one we're going to do here is a squat into a hamstring stretch. So we start with the feet shoulder width apart, uh, feet gripping into the floor here. We're going to bring our hands in front here and we're gonna sit into a squat here. So sit the ass back and down, drive the knees out, keep the chest up, and then drop the hands to the floor. Straighten the legs here, hold that stretch for three seconds, two, one. Sit the ass back and down, chest back up, hands in front, press into the feet and back up to center. And we're gonna do that eight times over, okay? So.
Okay, so this next one here is really good for bringing some mobility into our hip flexors. So the muscles we're talking about here are our psoas, our iliacus, um, as well as some of the quad muscles like the rectus femoris. So what we can do here, um, I'll show you and then I'll talk you through it. So I'm going to start here by um, feet, uh, just hip width apart here. We're going to step back with the right foot here, come into a lunge position here, reach the arms up overhead and then we're just going to slightly arch back and then side bend over towards the left, come back towards center and then we're going to do the other side. So we're going to step back at about a 90 degree angle, drop the legs down, reach the arms up here, arch back, stretch over towards the right, back to center and back. So we can speed this up a little bit now. mobility drill we're going to do is called a Cossack squat and it is amazing for mobilizing the inner thigh muscles, the adductor muscles. Clasp the hands in front, we're going to bend into one knee, drop the ass back and down here and we're just going to sit the ass back and then drive the, heel, the opposite heel into the floor here. Now from this position what we're going to do here is travel the hips over towards the other side. We want to keep super low as we're doing this. We don't want to let our ass um, or our hips shoot off the floor. And then we're going to sit into the opposite side. As you do that, you're trying to think about driving this knee outwards here. And that's what's going to give you that lovely stretch in those inner adductor muscles. So we want to go super slow and mindfully here dropping the ass down to one side sitting down into it driving that knee out and then super slow motion keep the hips nice and low we come towards the other side whoa and you should feel actually a nice little stretch in the lower hamstrings as well as you're doing this, if you need to put your hands on the floor for a little bit of balance support here as you're coming to each side, please feel free my friends, that's no problem at all. We're all uh, at different stages with our mobility, so just <clears throat> do what is in your capability today. So we're going to do about oh, five on each side here, and then keeping those hips nice and low here. Keeping the chest up, keeping the ass sitting back down. Oh, sit into it, drive that knee out. And then come into the other side here. Oh, <laughs> it's tough this one, but oh my gosh, it is amazing for mobilizing your legs. Ooh, we'll just do. Oh. Two more each side, one more each side, I should say. Good. Last one here. Ugh. Sit it down. And then come back towards center. Feel toe the feet in. And relax. All right, guys, this next one is, it's kind of a full body mobility routine, but we really get into the hips and, uh, glutes get activated, uh, thoracic spine as well. So a bit of everything here. So what we're gonna do first of all to begin with is come down into a plank position. So hands underneath shoulders, feet hip width apart, pelvis tucked in. And then from this position, what we're gonna do is take a wide step forward. We'll start with the left leg here. So we're gonna step that leg forward, drive it out to the side, drop the knee onto the ground, and then we're gonna just open up the arm, making a half circle. Bring it back down, then we're going to step that leg back, and then we're going to do the other side. So wide step forward with the left, drop the opposite knee down to the floor, open up the body to the side, bring it back down, and then we do the other side. So we'll do about uh, we'll do about 10 of these on each side here. And this is just going to be amazing for <coughs> your hip mobility here. So really think about driving 
that knee out to the side as you're bringing it forwards here. All right. video uh, ran out of space there um, but I did want to show you this stretch at the end now I don't do very much static stretching before I go running but there w there is one in particular that I like to pay attention to and that's going to be stretching out the TFL which is a muscle along the side of your hip and if any runners out there have ever had like that IT band syndrome that kind of uh, lateral knee pain You'll know what I'm talking about. Um, this area here, the TFL, it's usually the culprit behind the uh, IT band pain. So I do a wee stretch beforehand just to make sure it's uh, good, prepped and ready for when I go out running. So you can do the stretch off a wall or if you have a little bar here and you hold it for about 60 to 90 seconds on each side and um, just focusing on deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling out. So to begin with here, what you're going to do, the side that you're stretching out is the leg that's going to come behind here and um, you're going to press this foot into the floor here. This uh, knee comes in front and it's just slightly bent here and then you just have your elbow on the wall here and basically all you're doing here is pushing your hip into the wall here. So you're leading with the hip, you're pushing it into the wall and you should feel, oh yeah, you should feel a nice stretch out in that tensor fascia lata, <laughs> I love saying that word. <laughs> um, well, yeah, so you can hold this. If you want to increase the stretch a little bit, you can uh, flex your hips forward. So bring your torso a little bit forward here, push the hip into the wall a little bit more. Again, inhale and exhale and out. 60 to 90 seconds. And then, oh, and then you do the same on the other side. So that's it for today guys, a few wee mobility drills and a little bit of TFL stretching. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked the video, uh, please subscribe to my channel because I'm nearly growing it. And comment down below what you'd like to see next because I would always uh, be delighted to make some new videos for you guys. So thank you for watching and have a lovely day.